Hello guys, welcome to Random Fandom. In today's episode, we are doing the top 5 Android FPS games in no particular order. Starting off, we'll do Bullet Force. Now all of these will be playing offline. Since I have slow internet, that's kind of crappy to have to deal with. Just show you guys a little bit of what the gameplay is like. We got. <laughs> number of different weapons here that we can use. They're all customized for the most part. So yeah, this So now, next up, we will do flats. This game here is not like any other FPS game. It's a lot different. It's sort of flat, it's 3D-ish, but it's super colorful and it's got real simple graphics. It's a unique take, I have to say. Show you it on a, on a 
No, different things I'll show you here. <laughs> it says my level is beginner. Well, I can do quite a bit better than that. Now for you retro gamers, you might like this Doom Clan. That's right. This one works very well on even the lowest. other version is well it's way too easy in my opinion I'm the hardcore kind of guy so next up we have neon shadow
Neon Shadow. And then last but not least, Special Forces Group 2. This is basically CSGO for Android. You probably seen this game in one of my previous videos. This is all skill based pretty much. For the most part. They have made it slightly a little more pay to win with the ability to buy added starting money on the match, but it's not that much. It's not that big of a match. It's really good with the pistol. The starter pistol is cool. But any of the others is much better. Personally, the five hundred dollar pistols and the other ones, uh, the best. The best bang. And so it seems. Nice amount of zinger, but you also still get a nice little crosshair. And that is Special Forces Group 2. All of these games that I just played, you can play offline, and they don't require in app purchases to win, they're not paid to win. Some of them don't have in-app purchases in them at all. And then some of them just have in-app purchase only to remove the ads. The honorable mentions are Critical Commission SWAT and Critical Commission Space. They're basically like CSGO. They run on even my crappy old Samsung Centura with 512MB of RAM and 1 gigahertz single core processor it's a pretty crappy track phone but I don't use it anymore <laughs> this is what I use now this Moto X here and also the modern combat series but you all probably heard of those there's like the number one FPS that's on the play store but some of these others you might not have heard of so that's my reason behind that but Crew Commission SWAT and Crew Commission Space often also will not work on newer versions of Android. So, yeah, that's that. So, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.